Hi there. Okay, well, previously we mentioned the ABC of waveform striking. So now, on this clip, we're going to take a very little look at the DEF and then we'll have a chat about it. Let's roll that clip. Okay, so Theodore's going to show the shadows that we mean, okay? We do three minute rounds of this. Okay, look at the footwork first. This is just to get footwork light and moving so that you can always get in and out. Now, show it with the half step as well, please, did or towards that bag. So he's moving around. You see he can move out and back into his half step position. So he's moving around the bag. That bag could be a bag. You could you put a chair there. You could put anything there to help gauge the distance so you can get in and out of your half step. Okay, come off the half step, Theodore, please, and come to do normal shadows again, please. Okay, nice, the, the quick version, not the slow version. Okay, so there. Now, throw the jab. And again. Now, I'm going to get in close so you can see underneath where Theodore's front elbow is. If you just stand still one second, please, Theodore. Yes. Can you stop moving? This bit here, this is the bit, this is like the DEFG when we talk about ABC of waveforms. This is the critical bit here, okay? So, if you do your jab again, please, Theodore. You squash that bit again, and again. And again. And again. Now, moving around, please, Theodore. That's it. Nice and fast now. See the swapping stance is nice and easy, see? So watch the swap stance again. Swap stance. Look at that. Okay, so it's nice and effortless. Can you throw some jabs from that side as well, please, Theodore? From the other side, thanks. Watch the speed of the jab. There we go. Now one, two. One, two, roll under. And then he's pivoting off as well. And again. So what we recommend is that they always do some kind of movement after a combo, whether it's left, right, down, backwards, pivot off, slide under, whatever it may be. And this is the sort of pace we want keeping up. We'll do several three-minute rounds, one after another, after five rounds of skipping. Okay, thanks, Theodore. Okay, so you've had a little look there. Now, the important part of this is the use of that stomach bit. Okay, we're going to imagine the body's made in layers. Now, those who know about pressure point stuff and players of the game, you'll have heard of things like dermatomes and things like that. So let's just think of layers of a cake. So you've got all these different layers in the body and you know, where there's a joint, think of that as, as the top of a layer or the bottom of a layer, whichever way gets your mind thinking right. And where there's a joint is where you've got flow of movement and where it can be paralyzed. If the joint's locked, you lose your power there and things like that. So think of these layers and I think of your hips. So a lot of you know how to use your hips to help generate power. Well, you've got to then think of the connection from your hip to your shoulder because we're, you'll hear that in the ABCs of the, the hip, the shoulder and the weapon behind and then it goes. But what we don't often talk about because it's very difficult to get across in a video and it's difficult for people to understand and basically you need the ABCs first is that the missing link between the hip and the shoulder, you've got the waist and the stomach here and the chest cavity and all that. Well, all of that's got to flow as well. So that when that's flowing, you can then add in even more power and even more speed. And we practice that on the shadows. We get the speed on the shadows and the power on the back. Now, on the shadows that we do, that's just a very small sample. There's a million and one ways of doing shadows. You can do shadows slow, you can do them light, you can do them with full extension so you don't hurt joints. You can do them all short range so you don't hurt joints when you're doing them fast. You can be practicing offense, defense, you can practice in slipping and sliding, ducking, diving, bobbing, weaving, pivoting in, pivoting out, all sorts of stuff you practice. There's a million and one things you can and should be practicing in shadows. That's just a very, very small clip and a very small selection of the type of things that we do. It changes on a daily basis depending on what we're wanting to practice and why. Like Theodore is a fighter. If he's got a fight coming up, and we know he needs to be learning how to how to throw a right hand, duck under, pivot out. That's what we'll be doing in shadows non-stop for weeks. 
There's lots of different things that we'll be doing in it. So you don't just look at that and think that's one thing. But what you need to look is that movement from there and see how you can incorporate it into everything that you do because that is the key for you. If you get that right, you'll take your striking up another level. Believe you me, the speed increase will be phenomenal. Phenomenal, especially on your jab. If you get that right on your jab, a jab that you were getting blocked on it, so, you know, say five or six out of ten you were getting blocked, now it might be down to only one or two out of ten if that. It's a huge difference in speed. I'm not going to argue about power. Let's just assume the power is the same. Or let's even say that you're getting a little bit less power, but you're landing it. Which would you take? A little bit less power, but you land it every time? Or more power and you don't land it? It's up to you. What I'm saying is get that movement right. Incorporate that with everything else that you've already got. And you will massively increase the speed of your waveform striking. The power should stay the same, maybe even go up a little bit. But it's the speed that counts. If you can get there faster than the other guy, before the other guy, you've got a good chance of winning. Okay, so get the speed up, have a practice with it, let me know how you get on. Thanks again. Oh, don't forget, click the bell and like and subscribe and all that stuff and tell your friends to come and have a look. Click the bell and like and subscribe. Let's get loads of people liking and subscribing, whatever it means. Alrighty, see you soon. Bye.